All right, what's going on y'all? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Robert, and today we're gonna to be taking a look at the Nike Air Max 2 CB94, or as everyone likes to call them, the Charles Barkleys. Let's go ahead and get started with the box. So nothing special at all here. You've got your standard Nike sportswear box, and speaking of box, take a look at the box. What happened here? Did someone drop kick the box? I mean, looks like something fell on it maybe, you know, there's a, a little rip right there, but you know, I guess it's okay. Um, and it's kind of a dent on the side, but oh well. Got your size tag information right there and I picked this up in the US men's size nine and a half. And we'll talk about sizing and everything a little bit later. So, what we're all here for? Air Max 2 CB94. Drop your comments down below and let me know what you think. This is a certified classic, one of the more recognizable Nike basketball shoes in history, in my opinion. Now, this particular model, this CB94 here, um, has been one of the hardest shoes to purchase over the last few years that I can remember. Um, I mean, all the colorways, the OG colorway, which is like my favorite, the white and purple colorway. That one, the white and royal colorway, was. it's like they all, I don't know if they, like the releases just, are just kind of all over the place, like it drops on this date, or we don't hear about the release date, or stores get late shipments. It's like been really hard to grab these shoes. And when these released, I think it was like a month or a couple months ago or something, I can't even tell you the release date. I forgot about it, I tried to pick it up, took an L, had no chance. And then I saw a tweet go out that Snipes had like a restock or some extra pairs and they actually had my size. So I went ahead and grabbed them. So I'm glad to add these to the collection. A very classic retro basketball shoe. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and get into it cause it's a little bit to talk about with this one. So obviously you got that white leather upper and the leather on these is actually okay. I mean, it's kind of standard Nike leather but it feels a little bit softer around this area here. Um, but I think it's actually okay. Um, and it's kind of tumbled there too as well. All over the upper, you got that white tumbled leather and then you've got that black netting there and those little holes that you see right there all over the shoe. Okay, then you've got some Nike branding right there in purple and the number 34 there in black. And for those who do not know, that is Charles Barkley's number when he was playing for the Phoenix Suns. That's why you had this orange and purple color all over the shoe, as well as while I'm wearing, why I'm wearing this Charles Barkley uh, champion jersey. Um, so yeah, that's why you got that colorway. If you don't know who Charles Barkley is, a lot of people probably know him as, uh, you know, the TV guy that's on TNT, which is one of the better sportscast and broadcasting shows, I think. NBA, NBA on TNT is one of the best shows. Um, and Charles Barkley is hilarious, by the way. But um, he was probably one of the best basketball players ever. I mean, he's top 75, so yeah. Um, but you know, back in the day when he was playing with the Phoenix Suns, dude was like, he was, he was really good. Um, and he also had just random, his own uh, video game. You know, I like to bring that up every now and then. Not everyone has their own video game. He had one on the Sega Genesis called Shut Up and Jam. So just figured I'd throw that in there. But like I said, played with the Phoenix Suns back in the day. Um, also getting back to the shoe, you've got the black midsole there with those kind of orange pieces peeking up there on the side. And you've got a purple Nike swoosh there as well. All right. Now taking a look at the toe box area of the shoe, get you a better look there. All right, get that white tumble leather. Moving up from there, you got a white kind of tongue with the mesh right here. And you've got these, these plastic kind of ropes here. I think this is like a fast lacing system or something. But these plastic pieces here with your black laces, black rope laces actually. And then you've got these white kind of uh, bands here that go across the tongue, um, which kind of holds your foot in place. In my opinion, it kind of makes the shoe a little hard to get on when you couple that with this actual, you know, booty construction here that they have on the inside of the shoe. But as you move to the top of the tongue, you've got that Air Max 2 logo there. And I really like the colors on this here. And by the way, while we're talking about this shoe, this is actually not an OG colorway. Um, the OG one was like the one I mentioned earlier, the, earlier, the white and purple one, and then it was like a white and royal. 
Um, this one here, I believe the white and royal. Yeah, it was. Anyway, this one here is not. It looks like it could have been, which is why I wanted this shoe. I mean, you've got the Phoenix Suns colors all over the shoe. You've got Charles Barkley's number right there, so it kind of gives it like a PE vibe. Um, so this is a pretty fire shoe. Glad to have it in the collection. Um, so let's take a look at the medial side there. Pretty much the same thing, but you don't have a number or the Nike text on this side. Yep. All right, and on the back there, I like that Nike Air branding right there in purple. Fire, fire shoe, y'all. Okay, now taking a look at the outsole of the shoe, man. One thing I really like about these 90s basketball shoes is that a lot of them have, when they have this Nike Air, they've got this window here. And you can actually see, this one is not covered. You can see in there the Nike Air branding as well. Hopefully you guys can make that out. But it's in there. So you got Nike Air branding in purple. That orange there, purple swoosh. There you have it. Okay. Now the insole, I'm not going to take that out. But it's purple with um, orange Nike Air branding on it. Hopefully you all can see that. Okay. All right, now I believe that'll be all guys for the Nike Air Max 2 CB94. Before we end the video, I like to give my final thoughts on this shoe. Starting off with the sizing and everything. Sizing, you can go true to size on this shoe, but I went a half size up because of the, um, the inner liner here and these kind of uh, bands on the shoe. Now, it is, it's not super hard to get your foot in here, but once you get into it, it fits okay. I think some people usually size up because of the booty construction here that I mentioned. But for me, you can go true to size or half size up. You should be fine. Um, now, do I believe this is a must pick up? You better believe it. This is one that's gonna stay in the collection. You know, I really like this type of stuff, man, when it comes back out. And when this shoe, not this uh, particular colorway, but when this one dropped, the la not the not the last over the last couple years the release before that this shoe sat in almost I, I remember seeing it in like jimmy jazz and whatnot might have been on sale and i didn't pick them up but now these cb94s are not sitting anywhere um so if you see them and you're able to grab a pair and you want them you might as well go ahead and get it because if you don't you're probably not going to have a chance you have to go that resale route and we don't want that but yeah, man, it's a must pick up, must have for any collector, in my opinion. The CB94, Charles Barkley's, one of the best players of all time. That'll be about all for me. Do me a huge favor by dropping a like on the video and subscribing to the channel. I do appreciate all the support. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.